Hey guys, Shaver 1000 here. So today I had an issue with this thing. <clears throat> we were going down the river and all at once it just revved up like a, a clutch slipping in a you know in a vehicle that the clutch is going out. <clears throat> this thing's bothering me. It's dark. We were gonna do some night fishing, but I don't feel well and uh, but I thought I'd come out and check this out. Now what I did was I looked at this. Now if you watch this, here's the propeller. Watch the output, the end of the output shaft. I got it in gear. It's not turning. So I do know that there is there's a shear pin in here. Now we've never hit anything with it. Well, I've never, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this pin out of here. We're going to try to get this uh, this prop off of here and see if that's the issue. I may not have to rebuild this lower unit if that's the issue. So. Alright, this is what I pulled out here. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if we can get this off here. Well, that didn't take much. That didn't take much at all. Well, sometimes they're, these are hard to get off and it's loose, so it's making me think that Okay, well there's there's the pin so what it does is it goes inside of here see that pin right there it goes inside of here so I'm just wondering if the prop is bad because that pin so I thought it might be this pin I'm just wondering if this prop was just not on there tight And that was causing it not to be all the way back in there. Uh, let's see. Because you seen how loose that nut was. See, it's spinning, so my prop right here, let me get you around here. I still got you zoomed in. See, this is part of the prop right here, okay? This is the outer prop, and this is the inner prop, inner part of it. Look at that. So, I think... I think I can get by with putting a new prop on this thing because I think I just lost my damn pin. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm down here looking for it, guys. It's pretty good size. I should be able to find it. There it is. Yeah. So I think there's a guy I went to down the road. Let me back you up a little bit so I don't knock you over. Just a few miles up the road from me, next to a little town over. I think it's five miles. Um, where I got the lower unit grease. He may have a prop for this thing. If I remember right, these are, these are set up something like 
Yeah, see, that's coming out of there. Just for me pulling on it. These are set up kind of like a harmonic balancer, a crank pulley on your vehicle. They're set up something like that. They're mounted in rubber, I do believe. Uh, if not, then it's a press fit, which this is real. You know what? Let's let me go get a hammer and a punch. And let's try to tap this out of there. See what it looks like. Okay, guys. So I got me a socket that'll fit in here. I just got this set on a couple blocks. Let's try to. Try to drive that out of there. It's coming out, looks like. There it goes. Okay. Yes, there is rubber in there. Okay, see? That's what happened. Just like a uh, harmonic balancer or some guys call them crank pulleys, they're mounted rubber for vibration, dampening, and stuff. And this will happen sometimes. So, what I'm guessing is it just got too worn, or maybe it's been hot or something. Maybe it just got too old. It's 1963, guys. So, and then, you know, maybe someone's hit something and it kind of made it loose. Um, so, I just need to find me a prop. So, because if you watch my last video, I said something about having issues. Hang on a second, I got to back you out. So, Alright, so, I had mentioned something about issues with this, uh, with my lower unit well there's the issue the props bad so I'm gonna try to get a new prop uh, I might just wait till Monday and run down here and see if this guy's got one because I started to tell you I'd like to have it running good by next weekend because that place where we was fishing at well we got it they're open again now so I went ahead and we uh, reserved it so and that that is that's bear territory there no electric no water it is primitive and it's right there on the damn river so and it's free totally free so that's awesome we're going to be going out friday night we're staying till we'll come back monday morning so that should be fun so i want to get this get this ready i don't see any leaks here any oil coming out of here so that's good Everything else has been fine. <clears throat> now, I was looking at lower units. I really didn't want to pay a kind of money for a lower unit. But, I mean, I may sometime, if I run across another 18 fast twin, because they made thousands of these things, um, I will get, get a lower unit either to change it and keep this one on hand as a backup or vice versa, whatever. But I'm going to look for some numbers on this thing. I'm not sure what the pitch is. There, there's usually numbers printed on these. So I got to go look for that. And I'm going to say Shea Bear, the Myth the Man of Legend. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, y'all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe and God bless. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.